What's up all my favorite people the whole entire world today I'm bringing you guys a different type of review today We're not talking about movies actually I've been telling you guys I want to do more video game content on this channel Of course you see that through my live streams But I did get to play through an amazing game called God of War Now this is kind of a sequel Well it is a sequel but it's also a reboot of this franchise God of War One of my favorite franchises of all time to be honest I love the mythology of Kratos I love the mythology of all these gods And just that Kratos is this god killer of course And you know I'm, I'm going to say this is a non-spoiler review because I think this is a game that a lot of people have not played yet, but I think this is the game that, is if you don't own a PS4 yet, this is the reason to own a PS4. God of War has solidified itself as not even one of the best games I've ever played, but I'll even go as far as to say one of the best games of the last decade. This game is fantastic. It's the best game I've played since The Last of Us, story-wise, gameplay-wise, and everything above in that category. And... Yeah, I knew I blew my load already, but before I really get into the specifics of why I love this game, I do want to bring up the few issues I actually did have this game. I think this game is a masterpiece on a storytelling level, but I think as a gameplay level, there are a couple issues I do have with this game. They're not really just issues, but things that's just a fan of the series that I really did want to see more of in this game. Most of it being with the boss battles. A lot of the boss battles in this game are actually very repetitive. The other God of War games, I thought they were very much more creative with the different gods and different elements, but given this game is really just an introduction to this new Norse mythology. Of course, the other ones were more of the Greek gods like Zeus, Hades, and whatnot, but this one's kind of touching on a different category with Norse gods like Thor, Loki, Odin, Baldur, and so much and so forth. But that's the thing I'm talking about. I really have been excited to talk about God of War because I've been really putting a lot of hours in. I think I'm around 55 hours in right now, and uh, yeah, I, I, I love it. I, I love this game to death, and I've been really trying to put forth time to making a review on this because this is a game that I've really wanted to tell people, like, go and get it. And I'll even go as far to say you don't need to play the other God of War games. I think if you know an, an aspect of them, it'll make the game a little bit more enjoyable, especially if you're a diehard fan like me. But I think if you're a fan of the God of War series and someone who really has never been into the series, I think this game is still a good opening. That's the best thing about it, is it does tell a little bit of backstory to Kratos and a little bit more to it. So when certain events do happen, maybe if you're a fan of it, you'll, oh my god, that's cool. But as a person who's just coming into this world, you'll get to know more about the character. And you kind of have more of a look through the eyes of Kratos' son, Atreus. When I saw this game was announced, I was like, this game looks gorgeous. I love the camera angle because the camera angle is totally different. The action looks completely different. Still visceral, still violent as hell. But Atreus was the one thing I was kind of skeptical on. Of course, Ellie really worked in The Last of Us, but some games don't know how to do well with this sidekick hero. But Atreus works wonderful. When you start upgrading this kid, this kid can deal some major damage, and Atreus is really worth wonders. Plus, he's not an annoying kid. He is a kid that you would... He's, I liked him. He's a sweet, charming kid, and I love the sense of charm that this kid has. He's very curious, and the way that his character plays out is a way that you is very believable, in fact, and I just love what they did with the character, and just really the story is very small scale on a big world kind of level. You know, it's not just, oh, we're trying to save the world, or this is a revenge tale. No, this is the story of Kratos and his son taking a journey to find the highest peak in the mountain to spread his wife's ashes. And that that is something that, you know, it's a father-son tale, and there's a lot of bonding in there because they're not really the closest. And it, it's just such a touching story. It's different. The events that happen along the way, the action along the way is very visceral. It's gritty, like I was saying. Very, I would even say this is more intense than the last few God of War games, just because this back focus on the back of you, and the fact that this game is really all just a one-shot take, kind of in the vein of a Birdman, where there's no loading screens. You're practically just following these characters on this one-take journey, going in and out of cutscenes, going in and out of the action. It's just so seamless. And Santa Monica Studios did such a fantastic job with that. Again, that had to the violence it adds to the damage you do with the weapons you get in here i mean this new axe this axe is badass you are pretty much the mix between thor and captain america with him wielding a shield and him being able to throw the axe and call it back throw it back and call it back and this game is hard this game is like if you play it on the hardest difficulty this game is like dark souls hard that given you can take tone down the difficulty but it's still a tough game and i like when games give you that sense of challenge where it makes you want to go back play it and see okay how can i defeat these enemies because each enemy has a different type of attack and a different type of weakness that you can actually learn through defeating them more and more and atreus actually tells you and helps you with this kind of bestiology lore that he makes of war again is a beautiful game 
graphics are some of the best I've ever seen. I still think Horizon Zero Dawn has the best graphics on the PS4 so far, but I will go as far as to say God of War is up there. It's a beautiful looking game, a beautiful new world to explore, especially if you're a God of War fan. Kratos' character is developed more and more that you can ever imagine. It makes you excited to see what they'll do now with this North mythology with the God of War world. Wish of the Woods is another great addition in here, and even this talking head that gets to follow you around is great as well. You think it would be kind of annoying, but it doesn't. It adds great humor. Again, the mythology is great in here. I'm more of a fan of Norse mythology than the Greek, so I'm kind of already attached to this as well. I loved every single thing about God of War. I loved all the little tidbits that we get into this game, and of course the action in here is magnificent as always. It's bloody, it's gory, and the story is just something different. This is seriously, again, one of the best games of the decade. Besides my small con with the bosses being a little bit repetitive, I would have liked something different maybe more gods or more monsters to kill i still can't get over how well done this game was it blew away all my expectations got over my hype and this is probably the first game in a very long time that i've actually sat down in one playthrough and pretty much beaten i, I love this game it's hard to not to keep going back there's so much to do after you beat the game and with all that said i'm gonna give god of war a 10 out of 10 now, for people who don't know, for my video games, I do do 10 out of 10s, not A or B and C. But tell me, guys, have you guys played God of War? I want to hear your guys' thoughts on this game because that's what's the most curious thing about this. And really fast, you know, if you guys want a spoiler review of this game, please let me know down below. I will be glad to do a spoiler to talk about God of War. I think this is a very game that holds tightly to a lot of the secrets. So don't go into this game. You want to go in this game not knowing anything. Of course, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to look out for my God of War ranking of every single God of War game. Surprisingly, I have played every single God of War game, even though phone game and that will be in my ranking so make sure to look out for that guys of course until next time guys make sure to hit that like and subscribe button especially if you're new hit up all my social media links so we can talk more geeky culture and of course go to hit up sandwich john film so you guys win advanced movie screens movie news and movie reviews also over on that website so until next time stay classy